Healing with Nature. In many cultures, it is believed that by contemplating nature, we are able to regain our connection to ourselves. We need to go to four places in nature to retrieve ourselves the mountains, the deep forests, the waters, or the deserts. These environments provide us with the opportunity to remember who we are. When time is taken to return to nature and to find ourselves again, this is known as soul retrieval work. In these places, memory and imagination can come together to reawaken the lost parts of nature. Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Words of Albert Einstein. One does not go to a place of nature and experience an awakening without the work of noticing, remembering, and exploring. Whether the intention is one of faith or personal exploration, there is work one must do to open the heart to accept and give love. This will take disciplined effort. Universal traditions teach us that we must learn how to approach life with an open, outwardly focused disposition. This involves practicing attitudes such as patience toward and reverence for all things. It involves appreciating the not so pleasant aspects of nature along with the beauty. Taking a walk through the woods brings the beauty and surprises of wildlife among the trees. It can also bring gnats swarming around your head, poison ivy rashes, and mosquitoes. It takes repetition and focus to find appreciation for the challenges that will be inherent to any journey. From this work, there is the potential for expressions of love. Love the world as yourself, then you can care for all things. Tao De Ching. Bill Twist of the Pachamama Alliance reminds us that we are part of the ecosystem that gives us life. He is committed to renewing our human earth relationship, developing a daily practice of love and gratitude toward the earth, can be nurtured by these reflections and actions. Cherish the earth as a living being who deserves love, respect, and compassion. Open our eyes to the harm we do to the earth and one another when we act without responsibility to care for her. Practice daily rituals of reciprocity with the earth to express our appreciation, to honor her benevolent spirit, and to maintain balance with nature. Recognize that the earth sustains us and provides for all our needs. There are many ways to express gratitude to the earth through prayer or actions in which we care for the earth, planting a tree, cleaning debris from a river, walking instead of driving, or conserving energy. Embrace a oneness with earth. Recognize changes to the earth as changes to us. Destruction to the earth is destruction to humanity. As we become at peace and unify in love, compassion, and gratitude, the earth also shifts in love and peace. Invite others to join each day in remembering we are united in a common bond to care for the earth. Consider how this Yokut's prayer may be incorporated into your practice and work in appreciation of the earth. My words are tied in one with the great mountains, with the great rocks, with the great trees, in one with my body and heart. All of you see me, one, with this world. Yokut's Prayer. <laughs>